Hi everyone, it's uh, Lee back at Main Tech here, uh, just having a look. Uh, Chaps just come to see me and said that he's got a judder in coming from his uh, Mark IV uh, Volkswagen Golf. And uh, basically I just thought I'd come and have a look at it for him. And he said he also has a malfunction indication lamp shown on the dashboard. So uh, let's just have a look. So starting up the car now. Yeah, I can feel the whole car shaking. Okay, so quite clearly that feels like a very, very severe misfire. So what I'm going to do is just plug the diagnostics in and uh, and take a look and I'll just share with you with what I find. Okay, everyone, so uh, yeah, next step that we're taking through here is just plugging the OBD connector in just down here on the Mark IV Golf. Uh, popping up here, ignition on, going into diagnostic. And then from here, I can go on to either my history or uh, European brands. So I know that on this one, I can just go into my history and I can just see uh, that I've got this Mark IV Golf saved up here. Okay, and then all I've got to do uh, following on from this is just go to my maintenance side. And then I'm basically just going to go on to my diagnostics and see what checks we can carry out. So I'm just going to confirm the vehicle there. Okay, that. And then go over here to diagnostics. Uh, we're going to have a, a quick scan. Actually, no, sorry. We're going to go on to control modules. And because I've got an engine misfire, I'm going to look at a specific area, which is going to be in engine control. So I'll just pop onto there. You'll see uh, this little Foxwell diagnostic unit is uh, quite an effective unit. It's, um, it's pretty quick for the amount of money it costs. It's nice and accurate. It provides live details, actual values, um, you know, displays your uh, the, the vehicle's uh, battery output in the top right hand corner. And then over here, I can just come on to and look at my, uh, my reading codes. So any error codes that I've got stored in here, and I can just see coming onto this that I've got cylinder one misfire detected. It is intermittent and we've got a static fault following on from there. So uh, a nice function that this gives me is if I just hit this button here, I can screenshot those faults and go back. So uh, stay tuned. I'll come back and um, have a, a physical look to see under the bonnet and see if I can um, see anything wrong. Uh, see if it's anything to do with something simple like a spark plug or a coilover plug unit. Okay, so this is the view from under the bonnet looking at this Golf. Uh, so I'm, I am suspecting a misfire. It's saying that it's coming from cylinder one. Now, if we look here, these are our coilover plug units here. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Uh, number one cylinder starting this side here. So I'm gonna remove yeah, this coil pack over here. I'm gonna swap the two round and see if I get my misfire jump from cylinder one to cylinder two, which would indicate to me that I have a um, faulty coil over plug unit. If it's not that, then of course I'm gonna look into things like swapping spark plugs over to see if I can get that misfire error uh, to swap cylinders on the diagnostic computer. Okay, everyone, so back in the car, I've just swapped over those coilover plug units from cylinder one to cylinder two. And what I'm looking for to see if the misfire shifts on the diagnostic uh, OBD computer from cylinder one that I had the misfire on originally to see if it moves over to cylinder two to just show me whether or not it's a coilover plug unit or whether or not I have to diagnose this further. So I'm just going to start the car back up again. So the misfire is still there and we can see that the ECU light is, is flashing as expected. Now, if I just come back over to the diagnostic computer and if I just click on our engine control, which do a system search and when it essentially goes in and it communicates and it gets to the point of where we are actually looking for uh, the actual codes. On the codes, if the misfire has moved to cylinder two, then that shows me in a nice simple check, that's just a, warning image that's popped up for emissions workshop obviously we've got a misfire so just popping back here i'm looking once i press this read codes i'm hoping uh, that it will be a nice quick and simple fix and it's going to be the misfire has moved from cylinder one and we now see a misfire on cylinder two and that will show us that we have a coil over plug unit fault uh, as expected there we go so just down here we now see that we've got cylinder two misfire so it's no longer showing cylinder one as we sh as we saw in the beginning of this video it's now moved to cylinder two 
So back to the engine bay here. So all I've done just to go back over it and make it nice and clear is I've moved this coilover plug unit, which is provides our spark plug with the high voltage spark. I moved this coil, which was originally over here at cylinder one, and I've moved basically just swapped one and two around. And now the misfire has changed sides. So this now shows me that this coilover plug unit is faulty and requires replacement. Right, okay everybody, so back under the bonnet, I've just popped up to a local supplier and I've just collected a new coilover plug unit to replace this one here that we originally sw swapped around from cylinder one to cylinder two. All right, we've had the misfire jump as we expected, so that diagnosed uh, nice and simply and nice and quickly that this coilover plug unit is defective. So we're just gonna chop it out and I'll show you how to do that. So just pry nice and gently, just underneath on both sides of the coil and that'll just move up there. Okay, and then up here, little tab, Volkswagen electrical connectors are push in, pull the tab and then disconnect. And they can be quite fiddly and then that's off. Okay, so this is the component that we're looking to replace. All right, we we'll just come on over. Before you ever take anything out of the packaging, just locate it next to your original, just to make sure that it is the correct part that you, that you need. Uh, it's four pin electrical connector, just like this one here. It's the same length, looks perfect. So just pop that over there. So nice and simply, all we do is just pop that down the recess, click the electrical connector in, and then we just push that all the way down till it clicks in to place. And then we know we've got a good contact over the spark plug to give us a nice clean spark. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is pop the engine cover back on and take a look back in the car and uh, hopefully this is a fix. Okay, everybody, so I've just changed that coilover plug unit and just put a new replaced one in there. So what I'm gonna do now with the ignition on is I'm just gonna go back in. Uh, I've cleared the existing codes that we had for the cylinder to misfire. Now, following the replacement of parts, we can now just go back in, read any faults, and as we can see there, perfect fix, system passed, no fault found. So we can just hit okay on that and we can just return to our main menu and that's a fix. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, please like and subscribe and comment and uh, thanks very much for watching.